As you can see, my name is Roman Dorczak. I come from Poland, from Jagiellonian University. I work in the Institute of Public Affairs. We, we teach students of public uh, management. But I'm focused on, uh, on part of this public management uh, and part of public sphere, education. I, I'm, my first education is uh, psychology, educational psychology, what was my interest, and human development. So I started to move from psychology to management because I started to do research on influence on, of school as organization on development. Not only students, but development of teachers, head teachers. So I started to work in the uh, institute uh, devoted to management. We, we teach students of public management. Um, I was involved in preparation of school head teachers, of school leaders, from the very beginning, uh, well, beginning uh, in, in early, very early 90s, 91, 1991, Polish government and the Ministry of Education established the rule that if you want to become a, a head teacher of, of schools of different type, you will have not only to be a teacher with some experience of teaching, but you have to possess extra qualifi qualification and extra education. And they have introduced uh, postgraduate one year long courses on um, management of schools. That was that the name at the beginning. So, and I was involved in creation of first such courses at, at my Jagiellonian University. So I have more than 20, 30 years of experience doing this. Seven, not seven, nine years ago, Polish Minister of Education, that at that time different ministry that, than, than now, they decided that the um, system of preparation of school head teachers is uh, old-fashioned and, and it, it has to be re rebuilt. Uh, and he invited uh, us, uh, Jagiellonian University, to, to prepare the proposal to prepare materials, to train, uh, to train the trainers, train people who will do that job later. And I was responsible um, for that uh, as a coordinator of that course. In 2015, so seven years ago, it was uh, uh, taken as a model for the whole Poland. A compulsory educational system in Poland is centralized, so they decided that Every uh, head teacher has to, be, before becoming a head teacher, has to uh, undergo such training according to our model. We have prepared um, the package of six different co coherent but different modules and the package, package of materials for training and that's used. Uh, fortunately, we, we wanted and ministry decided that we will not build one central uh, organization. Uh, responsible for preparation of head teachers. So it's done in different parts of Poland. Uh, universities, institute like my institute, or teacher training centers, those two kind of organizations uh, could uh, give such. So uh, I was involved in, in it, that's my experience. From the beginning of my job with uh, educational leadership and management, I co also cooperate with, school in, uh, with schools. Uh, I have a network of schools and a network of head teachers. I cooperate with probably the biggest uh, uh, organization in Central and Eastern Europe, uh, uh, organization uh, Association of School Heads. In Poland, they have 6,000 members, so it's very huge, very big organization. I, I cooperate with them and I use this opportunity to do some um, uh, research. So, one maybe sentence more about the, the system. If you want to become a head teacher, you are a teacher with some experience. Uh, you have to apply to do such a course. <coughs> and, uh, well, that's your decision, but you do not have any experience in, in, uh, in being a head because your experience is uh, 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 experience from the classroom with, in, in teaching. You have some experience observing your, your head teacher in your school um, and you want to become a head teacher. That's your decision, voluntary decision. 
So, uh, well, um, you probably have a positive thinking about that role if you want to become a head teacher. Later, and well, positive and some, some kind of thinking about this. When you take the position of a school head and during your professional career and professional development, such thinking will change, I, may change, will, will change for sure. Um, in heads of uh, future head teachers and in heads of head teachers doing their uh, job in their roles, they have some um, ideas, some thinking, some mental models. Uh, um, and trying to understand that thinking, two years ago, that was and still is difficult due to COVID problems, two years ago I, I decided um, to use my observation uh, from discussions with head teachers and, and future head teachers, because during such discussions I have observed that, sorry Michael, we have decided to start with, because I didn't. So observing them during my work with schools and in such uh, postgraduate courses uh, and during my cooperation with head teachers, I have observed uh, that they think differently. And I had some, you know, ideas that I wanted and, uh, to, to, to do some research. I started to do this. What I present today, it's not finished because of COVID problems. I still am collecting materials, but I will present uh, something. Quite a big portion of material is collected. I decided to, uh, to take two, or to use two methods, to take two perspectives. Um, Again, my experience with uh, head teachers uh, was is that, that they do not uh, like to take uh, part in uh, research. When I give them a questionnaire, they look at the questionnaire and if it's longer than one page, they will tell me, oh no, Roman, I'm very busy, not this week. And later they, they disappear, so it's not possible to do this. Only with some friends, but you, you cannot use uh, your friends uh, again and again and again. So I decided to make a very simple, uh, well, uh, not too simple, but very simple and short research. I used two methods. I decided to look at the metaphors they used to, uh, to think about the role of a teacher. And I decided to ask them shortly about uh, their thinking about key and the most important competences they uh, um, think are needed by a school a head teacher, school leader. Uh, so, um, uh, first, why metaphor? Maybe too much on this slide. Well, I like uh, Greeks. Uh, I frequently uh, go back 2000 years back and uh, I, I think about uh, them. Um, and uh, Aristotle uh, was a uh, fan of metaphors. Uh, he argued that, well, uh, if you ask uh, people what do they think about different uh, phenomena, just directly, they will tell you something, but usually, uh, I'm not sure, probably he even used the word a mask. They will wear a mask and they will give you some common uh, answers. If you use the metaphor, metaphor uh, it, it's a tricky method because using a metaphor uh, can show you uh, some deeper understanding. So I decided to use the metaphor. In fact, I have used uh, to this, met this method a uh, um, couple of years ago, two or three times doing research on different aspects of, for example, doing research on evaluation and thinking about evaluation in schools. So, okay. Um, the, 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 some, some words about the method, uh, as I, I already told you, talking with uh, teachers uh, um, that want to become head teachers in future and talking with uh, um, head teachers playing their role sometimes for many years, I, I have noticed the difference, so I decided, okay, I will take two groups to my, my research. And the first group, I decided uh, that, well, first is obvious, candidates, teachers from schools, 
uh, that uh, have just applied to take part in postgraduate courses, uh, preparing them uh, for um, uh, being a, a school uh, head teacher. Uh, I teach on such courses, so every year I have contact with uh, uh, such people. Next month, in two weeks' time, very quickly, three uh, more groups will uh, appear, uh, and bigger groups. Uh, people started to, to think about, uh, um, well, in Poland, complicated system, but next, this coming uh, year, uh, we will have a lot of competitions for the position of head, so that's why uh, groups uh, at the moment are bigger and they are growing. I, I, I have on the list more than uh, 100 people. So, uh, uh, during the first or second meeting with them, at the beginning of the course, when we uh, introduce ourselves and when we do some integration, uh, some initial uh, work with them, I, I ask them um, uh, such question. I will jump slightly. Two simple questions. It takes five, ten minutes, no, five minutes, not, not more than five minutes usually. Uh, please um, finish uh, the sentence. Being the school head is like and finish it, what comes to your mind, just quickly. And I'm doing this research in two parts. First, this is one, one uh, page, uh, uh, and they are putting their metaphors. I'm collecting them, and the second part, not to mix them, uh, I'm asking, uh, please give uh, a list of three main competences you think are crucial to play the role of head teacher. Three. I'm, I'm telling them, if you want more, okay, but three, first three are more important. And when, when I later analyzed, I decided to take only three on the list. Sometimes I had more, but three on the list. Um, so the first group, research group, uh, candidates for headship. And second, uh, head teachers with some experience. I told you that I have contact and I cooperate with Polish Association of School Heads, more than 6,000 members, and I have a lot of possibilities to use them. Uh, I decided to, to, uh, use, um, to take to that second group head teachers with more than five years of experience. Why five years? In Poland we have a system that uh, you have competition and you become a head teacher for five years. After that period, you will uh, have, again, similar competition. <laughs> Usually, 95% of head teachers, they, they have second competition, but they still are having the same position. But, well, that's, that's the system. So, one, one um, cadence, one um, period of five years. So, if you are head, a head teacher with at least such experience of one uh, period of five years, or more in that, and both groups, because I, I collected uh, before uh, holiday uh, 160 um, uh, answers from candidates, so I have selected 160 um, uh, experienced head teachers, and what uh, I will present here, uh, it will be um, a, a first attempt of analysis of those. Uh, um, you, uh, well, looking at the first part of, of uh, my research, uh, metaphors, answers for the question, being a school head teacher is like, and I have finished that sentence. What I present here, it's only a part of uh, analysis, because I uh, started to categorize uh, uh, answers. And there is shortly uh, another part of my analysis is that I started to categorize, uh, to, to find different types. For example, I call one type of metaphors uh, technological, uh, a second uh, organic, because metaphors can be different. Uh, but, but here uh, I would like to focus uh, on something that, in fact, it was uh, uh, for me an uh, impulse to to, to think about such uh, small research and to do it. Uh, positive and negative metaphors. Uh, in a minute uh, you will, you will uh, see um, what I mean. And uh, when uh, I looked at uh, answers uh, uh, for my second question, 
remember it was list at, at, le at least uh, free, give at least free. Main and key competences uh, uh, important for, to play the role of head teacher. I have used to analyze this, uh, uh, I was selfish, I have used my um, uh, model of uh, educational competences a couple of years ago when I was a coordinator of a uh, Polish national project to build new model of training for uh, head teachers. We, we have used some models and, and basing on, on such analysis I have prepared my own. Uh, uh, and I have five uh, types of, uh, of uh, first I call them educational uh, competences. Well, understanding of learning, understanding of development, understanding of educational processes. And uh, um, second, I call them cultural, but I mean here um, um, competences important to build a school culture. Uh, in different aspects of that school culture. Third area, interpersonal, something that does not need explanation. Intrapersonal, well, when I analyzed uh, different models of uh, comp leadership competences, to be honest, I haven't found, uh, I, I have found something uh, in uh, details, uh, later in details, I have found something that I call interpersonal, but in main uh, categories, uh, no such, uh, such um, uh, areas of competences. Intrapersonal, connected with uh, intrapersonal interaction with people in your team, intrapersonal interaction with yourself, and understanding of, of your uh, um, uh, ideas, understanding of uh, em your emotions, um, understanding of process of stress and dealing with stress and uh, professional burnout and so on. Five minutes, okay, so I, I have to be quick. And technical, technical, well, that's my name, technical educational finances, educational law, management of material resources, and so on. So, well, let's look at uh, two parts of presentation to be quick. Uh, uh, when I looked at uh, metaphors, and I used, I'm using here in my presentation only this um, uh, distinction between ne positive and negative metaphors. Uh, candidates for headship, 160 people, remember. 120 of them, they gave something which I uh, assessed as positive metaphor. 31 only negative. N eight not assessed because well, they decided that they agreed to take part in, uh, in research, but later they gave uh, uh, an answer that cannot be uh, classified, uh, for example, like the answer not, uh, uh, no. Do not have uh, experience to assess. So, well, it's, it's not positive, it's not negative, it's, well, something which uh, cannot be assessed. Uh, and, but look at, uh, at uh, metaphors of experienced head teachers. 110 gave negative uh, metaphors, metaphors that, that unveiled uh, their negative uh, attitude uh, to, uh, to, the, to their role. They stay playing that role at least for five years or longer, and they have neg negative thinking about that. 39 gave something positive. Well, uh, <coughs> so that gives uh, something. Uh, um, positive metaphor, just a few examples to, to show you. But the, it, it, uh, they gave uh, short uh, sentences. Being ahead, it's like a journey, it's like a challenge, it's like a never-ending story, it's like opening new doors, new life given to you, like exam to test your potential. Well, for some, for students, maybe exam is something negative, but for heads, maybe not. It's like discovering new lands, positive uh, metaphors, negative ones. It's like serving lifetime in an army, or like, like being in a prison. That was, I, I haven't put that. It's like a night shift in factory. Maybe it's connected with specificity of Polish language. Uh, uh, night, uh, when you say, oh, it's a, like a night shift, so it's something terrible, uh, maybe in other countries too. It's like a penalty for being bad. It's like a nightmare, living in t turbulent times. It's like being kept in a psychiatric hospital. Well, well. being ahead, it's a mistake. Well, 
so such and and imagine uh, very very quickly so uh, people who want to become head teachers they have positive thinking about being a head experienced well that changes uh, no not this way and and very quickly key competences when i have asked uh, candidates you know look what was um, 160 people, but everybody uh, gave uh, three um, uh, examples. So that's why uh, numbers are, are, are uh, such big. Technical competences were dominant. Oh, I, it's necessary to know educational law. Oh, it's necessary to know uh, finances, educational finance, and so on and so on. Interpersonal, oh yes, it's good to communicate with people, uh, to deal with um, a team. Educational, intrapersonal. Oh, I, I have mistaken something. Um, cultural, yeah. So that, that, that last one, it was near, not educational, but cultural, yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, candidates, look, dominant thinking that this is something which is necessary for me. Uh, key competences for experienced head teachers, interpersonal. They, tol they tell me, they told Newell, now I know that, well, <laughs> one uh, had very uh, probably good expression, well, about finances and law, I can find information uh, uh, like this, or ask somebody very quickly. But uh, um, uh, to talk with people, to negotiate with them, to, to, to have relation with people, that's something that has to be learned. And this is a key, an important element. Intrapersonal look. They started to tell me, oh, well, now I would like to know, uh, and I think that it's good to know about your emotion, about uh, dealing with stress, about uh, prevention of professional burnout. Uh, technical on the third place, well, yes, still important. 99 people, so probably it happened that almost everybody put uh, something technical on the list, but well, uh, something more important uh, is more important. Conclusions. Uh, Maybe the last uh, conclusion, uh, I, I, I gave those conclusions during my presentation. Recommendations. Understanding what you have in your mind, your mental model is a key element influencing uh, your work, your functioning in the role of head teacher. Mm. And, well, why I did such research? Because I'm still involved in, in uh, building, transferring and changing educational cycles uh, uh, to prepare for position of head, uh, but also uh, educational cycles uh, uh, for professional continuing development. So we have to, well, uh, well what I'm doing, last two sentences, Michael, sorry, uh, for candidates, I'm showing them uh, such, I will, this year I will show this result, and I, but I'm, I have started last year to tell them, well, now you think hard competences are important, but you will need also uh, soft competences, you will need intra, intrapersonal competences, and I'm giving something at the beginning. And for, for those who uh, exist in that role, proposals uh, within um, uh, professional development. I cooperate with association of school heads, so it's easy because I work with them. And we, uh, we two or three years uh, ago, in fact, we started to, uh, to sell, to promote um, uh, soft uh, uh, competences training. Thank you very much and sorry for, be for being so long. competencies when you talk about these what kind of levels do they have problems with is it with their equals is it with people below or is it with people at higher levels well, in fact when we work when we work uh, uh, on it it appears that uh, all of those different aspects uh, they they like developing their competences of uh, conversation within a school team, mm -hmm. uh, but also conversation between um, hierarchy in education, like, uh, like conversation, communication with, uh, for example, local educational authorities or people from the ministry. Uh, but, uh, well, uh, last year I was involved in uh, two, three, four, I'm counting, four, four schools 
started to change their cooperation with social services like police, city police, uh, psychological centers. And it ter turned out that the biggest problem is just communication between organizations that uh, created conflicts, problems, and uh, sometimes even uh, uh, resulted in, uh, you know, stop of cooperation. So we started to teach them how to communicate uh, professionally. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Norman. Do we have... Yes. Do you, Do you want to want this? <coughs> My only exercise of the day. It was a good exercise. Thank you, <coughs> Roman, for your wonderful presentation. It was, I was remembering uh, Morrill and Morgan's organization metaphors and, and a lot of other things too, and uh, preparing uh, educational programs to qualify educational leaders in, in Finland, for example, and asking people uh, what they need. And, and often it is so that they don't know what they need and one cannot know what one does not know. And, and your metaphors was just revealing in, in that sense. And we are doing something like this renewing educational leadership education in Finland. So uh, is your study already published? Can we read it somewhere? It's uh, still going on, my research, and I will probably submit for uh, this journal that was promoted by Milan or maybe somewhere else, but for sure it will be published. Yeah. Thank you when you, you publish it and thank you for doing it. Um, thank you very much for the presentation. I like very much your research, which is uh, simple in a way, but um, very meaningful. I would like to share just uh, one um, of my experiences. I ask uh, usually in my program uh, head teachers about uh, what do they think about um, cooperation with parents. And I use metaphors uh, using materials and so on. And after they write down the word, the key word, I ask them to say if that's positive, negative, or both. So they are um, interpreting what they meant with this metaphor. So perhaps this is an idea just to, to help you with this categorization in uh, further uh, re research. But I will use your <laughs> information in my programs. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roman, uh, for this uh, uh, presentation. I think uh, the real uh, issues can be under, understand really uh, that uh, applying uh, qualitative uh, uh, methods, techniques, as you, uh, you have done. So that was really wonderful. Um, uh, I, uh, um, uh, I want to mention that uh, some years ago, uh, in, an international pro uh, in the frame of an international program, we have developed a, a, a competency framework for uh, school leaders in the 21st century, which has uh, five big categories. Maybe it can be interesting uh, to, uh, to put into that uh, 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 frame also those answers what uh, you have got from, uh, f from your uh, teachers and also analyze uh, what is the differences uh, between those who candidate uh, to the job uh, and those who, uh, who are in charge. And uh, one question. Um, Formally, but maybe not really, uh, uh, there is a contradiction uh, between two facts. So uh, you showed us uh, the, uh, uh, how, uh, how many positive and uh, negative feeling uh, uh, is among uh, the candidates and, uh, uh, and those who are in charge. Uh, and uh, uh, the negative uh, increased a lot. However, you also mentioned that most of the school leaders, uh, in spite of uh, the, uh, the ruling that every five years they should uh, uh, newly apply, uh, still uh, uh, stay uh, in their uh, job. So uh, is there any uh, discussion about uh, this? 
maybe they, yes. they, uh, uh, it is really very hard, but uh, 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 it would be even hard uh, to go back to teach. But or it is a lost of answer. face, lost, uh, uh, lo lose of prestige. So. Loss of prestige, but uh, also, well, one of my friends, uh, he is a head teacher for 15 years. The answer uh, of him for that question would be, what else can I do? And that's really a lot of uh, experienced head teachers. They tell, well, what else can I do? Nothing. So, and usually when you, I know so, so, such examples, when you go back to teaching, that's a very hard job. Because if you go back in, in the same school, it happens, it will destroy you. Because now, uh, you know, new head teacher in Poland, usually, I, I think it's, it's not good, but usually 90, 95% of head teachers, these are former teachers from the same school. Uh, I know uh, positive examples uh, uh, when, uh, when the situation is different. I, I think it's good. Maybe not everywhere, but it's good. So you imagine being a boss and uh, in June, in September, you become a regular teacher among your colleagues and your former um, uh, you know, colleague um, be, now is your boss, and the situation is hard. I know a lot of such examples. Yeah. Very short question. Thank you for your presentation, and uh, I'm looking forward for the paper. Uh, maybe, of course, you won't say that in the research uh, man matter, but uh, while you were reading uh, the answers to first question and the second one, were you able maybe to see some connection? Do you think that maybe uh, you were able to understand more why were so many negative metaphors? Yeah. Uh, maybe I just... I, I was thinking about doing this, yeah. So thank you for that comment because it's, it's important, I think, yeah. Okay. Thank you for your presentation. It was interesting uh, research. Uh, I, I, I was. Um, I want to ask about those categorization you have. That uh, five categories is is it uh, on your theorizing about uh, concerning about your own research or how you uh, model you mean, those? Categories? You mean five categories of competences? Yes. It was based on uh, on uh, two things. First. Uh, analysis of uh, different models of competences from around the world. We did it before we started our project um, to build this model for training school heads. It, that was one. And second, it was um, not the same, but similar research when we asked different groups. It was a mixture of different groups. We asked uh, university teachers connected with teacher training and, and uh, leader training. We have asked experts, um, like people from, from outside university, outside school, but working for training uh, companies, training organizations. We have asked head teachers and we have asked teachers. And, and also parents. We, we have at that time connection with association of uh, par Polish parents. So different groups uh, asking them what kind of skills, competences, what kind of knowledge is important for the future, because it was the base for, to build our model. Lots yeah. of questions sound yeah. like, make it a very interesting paper, I think. Roman, thank you very much for that, and um, I'm sure people will have questions afterwards as well. Thank you.